But I'll tell you what throw me off, though. I be watching them civil rights movies, man. What throw me off, I watch a civil rights movie and be like, oh, damn, that was a good-ass movie. And then two weeks later, you find out the main black dude in the movie is British. You be like, ah, shit. <laughs> Motherfucker got me. Because <laughs> them black Brits, they good. The anger is a compliment. Them black Brits, they, they so good, it feel like betrayal. You be watching the movie. This motherfucker be Martin Luther King. I'll have a dream and then a dream and I'll be dreaming and then a dream. <laughs> then you see him two weeks later in the interview. Well, my job was one of Jubal and that day. I'm like, all right, then wait my nickels. <laughs> I'm like, why is Dr. King talking like this? <laughs> and this might not be an issue for most people, but every black person remember the day they found out Idris Elba wasn't from Baltimore. <laughs> Oh, my God. That was a troubling day in the black American community. It's like finding out your daddy wasn't your daddy. It's Idris Elba, that's Stringer Bell from The Wire. That's Stringer Bell, dog. I'm like, nah, dog, that motherfucker from over there. No, he ain't, you shut the fuck up. And then you saw Idris, you saw him in the, you saw him in the interview. Well, I tell you, for breakfast, me love a warm bowl of beans. They're like, oh! This nigga eat beans for breakfast? Oh, not my dog. Not my dog. No. Oh, no. Oh. I think, I think part of the rift between black Americans and black Brits, it just boils down to we don't know enough about foreign black people's struggle. We don't know enough about black British people because they don't teach us their history. And if I don't know your pain, I can't trust you to portray mine on camera. That's the, that's the issue. But it ain't black Brits' fault. It ain't their fault. We don't know shit about their history. They ain't teaching us foreign racism in America. <laughs> we ain't learning about the struggle across the diaspora. We just now learning about Tulsa. That shit happened around the corner. <laughs> yeah, we, did, we too busy learning Roman numerals in America. <laughs> They ain't teaching you about the struggle across the diaspora. They only gonna teach you, thank God I know the Roman numerals. Now I know which Super Bowl we own. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> so a different type of nigga pull up to the country, you don't know shit about him. You like, my fuck out. <laughs> There's gotta be something going on in England, man. There's gotta be some racism over there, man. They ran off Meghan Markle. You know how jacked up your country got to be to not fuck with Ray Meghan Markle? You don't fuck with Meghan Markle? <laughs> Meghan Markle could pass for eight, nine different races in America. But in England, they was like, no, something's off with that bitch. Nah. <laughs> Too many nigglers in her nabblers, if you don't know. <laughs> All right. England was so racist to Meghan Markle, she came back to America and stayed at Tyler Perry's house. <laughs> Do you understand how frustrated you have to be with racism? Did you, like a pain that only Medea could fix. <laughs> then, then she talked to Oprah. <laughs> she was dealing with so much racism, she had to talk to two of the most powerful black women in the country. <laughs> had to get Medea and Oprah, had to double up. And poor Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, Oprah was interviewing Meghan Markle. Oprah didn't have no solutions for that woman. <laughs> That's how complicated racism is in England. Oprah couldn't help her. Oprah, Oprah, this is a woman who has built her empire on giving us solutions to our problems. That's all Oprah's done. She had the, the, the talk show, she had the damn magazine, she's got a TV network. It's all promoting positive imagery to make you a better you. Meghan Markle sat down in that backyard with Oprah for, Oprah for two hours. All she did was make faces. Couldn't help Megan. Megan Markle poured her heart out to Oprah. Oprah was just sitting there like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you with that, baby. You gotta talk to the ancestors. <laughs> 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 Gail, let's go. I can't help her. We got to go, Gail. <laughs> <laughs>